Hi, I'm Sandra Steingraber, and today is October 30th, 2016. Um, we've traveled about 40 miles north and a little to the west, I believe, of Nugen um, to a facility that is a bit giant distillery that, uh, uh, in this area, we were told um, is mostly gas that's being fracked, and all the different gases have come to this place to be separated. Um, we are in a kind of uh, scrub land. It's um, spring here, so a lot of the shrubs are flowering. The leaf cutter ants are busy at work. Um, we saw horses uh, roaming along the roads and some um, birds that look to me like uh, road runners um, crossing our path on the way up here. So this is uh, Mapucho land that is otherwise used for grazing, um, but we now um, have seen the contamination that's been created by the oil and gas infrastructure here. Um, just a few minutes ago, uh, our uh, Mapucho friend uh, withdrew some water from this water well about uh, nine meters down. Um, it came up and clearly had a layer of uh, golden uh, hydrocarbons on the top of the water. Um, we poured that water on the ground and could easily light some uh, dry brush uh, on fire. It was uh, flammable water. Um, it was explained to us that uh, this water has uh, contaminated with heavy metals. It hasn't been sufficiently remediated. Um, and we're also uh, concerned because only about um, a, a kilometer or two in this direction is the Nugan River. Um, and over in that direction, just a kilometer or two, are the lakes um, in, that have been dammed up, which provide the drinking water for the major city of Nugan. Um, so a lot of vulnerable water here. Um, we, I can certainly um, attest that when this contaminated water came up, it smelled like hydrocarbons. And when we burnt um, the shrub, it didn't at all smell like um, burning sage, which uh, I would always imagine um, when you burn wood in the desert. Um, instead, it smelled um, like some kind of hydrocarbon uh, exhaust. And you, uh, we can hear and uh, smell behind us. Um, we have storage tanks and this kind of giant distillery uh, going on uh, all around us.